Hey, hello everybody. This is Stephanie. Welcome back to another episode of Traveling Transgender here on YouTube. And I have my favorite Hello Kitty coffee mug with piping hot, of course. Uh, so I'm about to sit down to some soup and coffee and crackers and Sarge is wiped. It's been a, a long past 48 hours. I'm finally out of the apartment in Antioch. I'm out of there. Everything's in storage. I have everything that I need and mini rainbow in the car. Um, it took me a couple hours to get set up. I actually had to, so funny story last night, because the movers were late getting there, we were three hours behind schedule. So because we were three hours behind schedule, I didn't make it to the campground before they locked the gates. So I had to do the, you know, the Walmart, no power, cold, all that kind of stuff with the dog, but the dog kept me warm. So big bonus there. Um, but it was good. It was, nobody knocked on the windows, nothing. You know, I was quiet. I didn't, uh, you know, play music or anything. I just, I got there, I slept, I got up, I left, you know. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so, but I had to go back to my apartment that morning, grab the last remaining items from my apartment, take them to storage, sort out what I had in Mini Rainbow that I didn't need put in storage. Then I had to go back down to Concord to the vet center on Willow Pass Road to see my therapist uh, to talk about uh, things that are going on with work and what it's gonna happen with me down the road for treatment. Um, and we have a pretty good plan. I don't want to talk about it yet here until everything's finalized because people from my work watch my videos and just bad juju. So I'm going to kind of keep that mum until we get it all worked out. Um, <clears throat> but with that said, after that appointment, um, that's when I went back to Concord or back to Antioch and I had to offload everything and then get out here to the campsite. And I got out here around 3 p.m. or 1500 for all you military types. And so, uh, some new things I'm going to show. I used to be a tent camper before I had Mini Rainbow. And um, I'm going to kind of pan down on this a little bit. Um, this is a uh, eight foot tall tent. I'm going to move the tripod back so you can get a little bit better view. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do a video to actually walk you through there. Basically that's my laundry room. Um, I have my RV washer or dryer in there a fold-up table that I can fold laundry on and iron on. I also have my camper bathroom thing in there and then just miscellaneous storage tubs, that kind of deal. And it's not fully set up yet, but tomorrow when I have it set up, let me get the frame. Uh, when I have it fully set up, I'll do a tour of this. So if you're living in a van or a car or, you know, uh, if you have a teardrop trailer or if you have something like me, mini rainbow back there, this can be an option for you that when you get to your campsite, you know, if your trailer or your van or whatever is ch chock full and there's no living space in there because everything you own is in there, this can be a mechanism for you to have room to offload everything, give you living space in your vehicle or your trailer or whatever, and be able to stow, you know, your goods in here and like plastic tubs or, um, I'll go through and show you the equipment I have in there tomorrow and tell you where, you know, I got my equipment. So for you know you van dwellers especially this is a great option because basically you can clear out your whole van put stuff in here and then when you know when you need it you can set this up to work for you there's no wrong way to have extra storage uh, my partner Laley was telling me about tents that like interconnect together and can connect to the tailgate of your vehicle and like you could do a whole like space station thing going on so this is the equipment I had um, when I was with my now ex fiance, we loved camping. Um, we tent camped every opportunity we had. Um, and when we split, she said I could keep the tent, um, which I, I did because it's eight foot tall in the center and I'm six foot tall. So I have headroom. I can stand in there comfortably and move around to wash my laundry or fold my laundry or whatever. So, um, it packs up really small. I put it in a gym bag. I throw it in the back of mini rainbow. And then, you know, when I get here, I have all this extra room. So now I have all this livable space in Mini Rainbow where I can stretch out and Sarge has room and we can just rest, you know, not feel like we have everything falling down on us. So I'll go through that tomorrow. I'm going to show the setup in Mini Rainbow tomorrow. I'm too tired tonight. I'm just going to eat and spend some time with Sarge. I got about three hours of sleep in the last 48 hours. I'm wiped, folks. Um, but I did want to do a little video tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to upload it because where I'm at, the internet's kind of sketchy, cell phone's kind of sketchy, so... This might be just a compilation of videos I string together, and then when I go into town, I can upload it. Hey, sweetheart. Uh-oh. Somebody wants to be on camera. Hey, Sarge. 
He finally came out of the man cave. He's got a little man cave back there, his little uh, carrier that I use in the car. You want to say hello to everybody? Say hi to everybody. Such a sweetheart. Anyway, that's my cue to have some dinner, spend time with my buddy here, and uh, just kind of call it a night. Let me get back in frame. So, uh, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate the support. I hope everybody's having a wonderful time. For those of you that are out on the trail, I hope I run across your camp sometime. And if you see the flags back here on Mini Rainbow, you're welcome to come to my camp, you know. All right, sweetheart, you wanna say goodbye? You wanna say goodbye to the viewers? Your mom? Okay. All right, well, folks, we'll catch you next video. Take care, I love y'all, bye. Hey, hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to another episode of Traveling Transgender here on YouTube. And as promised from my previous video, where I talked about having another tent for my equipment, um, I wanted to go ahead today and film inside that tent, explain how I'm making it work for me. This could be a great idea for you if you're um, in a smaller living situation, like if you have a teardrop or a travel trailer like I do, um, that doesn't have you know a laundry room or a kitchen in it. Um, if you're living out of your car, van, you know, something like that, and you don't have a lot of livable space, or if you're just backpacking it because you don't have a car, you know. Um, this video is for anyone who has a very limited amount of li living space, whether you live in a tent, you know, or, uh, you know, something like a, a runaway camper like mine. So this is a Coleman tent. It's a four person, eight foot tall tent. And the equipment that I have here, for the most part, I believe can be found through Bob Wells' affiliate sites for Amazon. Or, or equipment that's very similar to what you see here. Um, if you go to Bob Wells' website, cheaperrvliving.com, and you go down about midway down the page, um, on the right side, he has Amazon affiliate links. And anytime you click on those links, it'll take you to products that he endorses, and they're good products. Um, but you also help Bob a little bit because he gets a little cut from Amazon for doing that. So, And he's just a wonderful person altogether. Bob really helped me in my journey, and I've learned... Um, I've learned a little bit from Bob and uh, you know he really welcomed me into this community and let me know it's safe you know for LGBT people to come into so now I'm inspired to do these videos because of that um, so this half of the tent is my laundry room this is an RV washer spinner this is the washing compartment this is the spinner compartment and this is um, the manufacturer's Manatee, M-A-N-A-T-E-E. -E. Now, I believe this RV washer cost me in the ballpark of about $300. They're a little pricey, but they're so useful because even if you don't have a sink hookup out here, you can manually fill this with, you know, milk jugs or water container, whatever you have to transport potable water. You know, you, you put your clothes in, you put your water in, you put your detergent in. And speaking of detergents, I use a um, natural free and clear. This doesn't have chemicals. It's, it's um, very ecologically sound to use if you want to you know, help take care of Mother Nature. Um, I would encourage you folks to, when you're out here in the bush, to use you know, ecologically sound products for you know, soaps and detergents and that kinds of thing because it really is important how, um, you know, how we live here and that we leave this uh, area as we found it or better. Um, and using just regular detergents and whatnot, although they're a little bit cheaper than the ecologically sound products, they do more damage to the earth than that. Those chemicals can find their way back into our drinking water and, um, you know, it hurts the ecosystem, the animals, the insects and stuff. So, um, it costs, a, you know, a little bit more for the, for those products, but really it's, it's, uh, an investment in where we live and our environment. So I would encourage you to do that. Um, clothes go in here, they wash. It drains, you put water in, it rinses, drains, and then you put your clothes over here, and this spins them and spins them and spins them and spins them, and it draws out most of the water. You'll still have to line dry your clothes, um, but that's okay, you know, it's a really hot day here today, and I can run an impromptu clothesline. No big deal. Um, the drain hose here is running out through the back of an opening of my tent, and then down the hill so that it goes away from my campsite. Um, you know, and you can just make that work for your situation wherever you're at. There's really no wrong way to do it unless you have water flooding into your camp area. You want to try to find a way, um, if you have a downhill slope from your tent, try to set your tent up as close to that so that you can run that hose down there and guide that water away from your area. Um, if that's not possible, you can take a small shovel or an entrenton tool and you can dig a leech pit. You can dig down about, you know, a foot or two. 
just a pit maybe by you know a foot across and a foot wide go down about one to two feet and just put your hose in there and the water will leach down that way and then when you're done you can just backfill the dirt that you dug out and you know pat it down and it's as if you really weren't even there over here i have this is a a small fold up plastic table i got it from walmart for less than 20 bucks right now it's housing my laptop and also my cell phone will be there i have a power strip underneath that's going to provide power to everything and I figure while I've got the generator running, I might as well take that opportunity to also uh, recharge the batteries on my laptop and my cell phone um, and get the most out of that gasoline in the generator while the laundry's washing. Um, work smart, not hard. You wanna try to, oh, sorry. You wanna try to utilize all your resources wisely because gasoline is expensive. If you have a way to do steep cycle batteries with solar for your washer and dryer and your um, equipment, that's even better because you're not paying for the energy. Um, and I'm gonna look at getting outfitted on that, but I'm not a solar guru, so I've got quite a bit of education to attain before I can even think about doing something like that. Um, so right now, this is what I have. I have a generator, so this is gonna work for me. It may not work for your situation, but this is how I'm making it work for me. Um, on the other side of the tent, I have just miscellaneous storage. Um, some containers, bags, things of that nature that I don't want in my travel trailer. Um, you know, bags of clothing. I have my portable camper uh, bathroom. And so, you know, when I have to go, I just come in here and zip up the door to the tent and do my business and then dispose of, you know, dispose of the waste, wash my hands, that kind of thing. And so if, you know, if you're living in a van or a travel trailer without a bathroom or you're in a tent, Maybe you're on a bike in a tent or you just don't have any mode of transportation and you're walking and you're in a tent. Having another tent to go to the bathroom in can vastly improve your, um, your field sanitation and your personal hygiene because if you're going to the bathroom where you're sleeping, um, you have all of that. Um, so, you know, feces and urine gives off odors, um, you know, depending on how acidic and alkaline your urine is, and depending on your type of feces it comes out, um, it's not the most sanitary way to sleep if you're doing all of that in the same environment. It can, it can cause you to get sick. If you have a pet and they knock it over, if you knock it over in the middle of the night, you have a spill of, you know, uh, of unsanitary waste in your living area that you've got to now clear everything out and clean. So for me, having a tent to do that in, away from my sleeping area, um, and, and the fact that, you know, if I have to I defecate, I'm not gonna stink up my living area. <laughs> my tent is quite a ways from my living area, so you know if I have a really foul smelling um, um, uh, you know defecation, I don't have to stink up where I'm gonna sit and sleep, you know. So for me it just seems more uh, sanitary and um, more comfortable just to have that place. And it's private. This is a tall tent. I can stand up, I can sit down to take my pants off, put them on, that kind of thing. So that's how this tent is working for me. Um, hopefully it gives you some ideas. Um, the products that I featured here, the Manatee RV washer, that's a very low energy uh, uh, washing unit, so you can run it on a generator. Um, and the folding table and the camper toilet, I believe, like I said earlier, I think you can find those through Bob Wells' Amazon affiliates. If you can't find the links and you get frustrated, um, send me a message through my Facebook, uh, Facebook backslash Stephanie M page, P-A-I-G-E, um, and I can um, find those links and, you know, send them to you so you can uh, take a look at those items. Well, I hope this video helps you, maybe gives you some ideas on how to improve your living situation to give you more space with your sleep. Um, if you like my video and, you, and you're inclined and have the time, would you please hit that thumbs up? I really appreciate the feedback. Um, if there's something you want to add, please, you know, feel free to leave a comment. And if uh, you'd like to see future videos and be notified of when I upload them, um, if you want to take a minute and hit that subscribe button, I think it's up. Actually, no, it's going to be like down in the corner there. Um, I really appreciate that too. Well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next vlog. Have a good one.